Hi again, and welcome to week two in Math and Society. I hope the first week of the quarter has gone well for you, and um, hopefully week two will too. So week two is on voting theory, and you can see on the calendar that there are there's really four things that you need to submit this week. One is uh, the exercises for voting theory, that's homework. The second one is another kind of homework type problem, but that's in the, the writing uh, assignment category, and that's on Friday. What you see on Saturday where it says voting theory question form, that's a place for you just to uh, upload, you know, ask questions of me, and it opens it up so other students could reply also, and we can see one another's questions, which is really helpful for our class to kind of inter interact. I know a lot of people have uh, a few people have talked about having a, a forum on Facebook, which is great. Um, this is a forum you can have right here, too. And you can include questions that you're working on directly um, into that. And the other two assignments, then, really, it's exercises, the homework assignment, then the written assignment on Friday. And then there's a, a writing assignment on due no, next Sunday, right before the quiz. Now, on your calendar where it says skills quiz here, it won't show up, but there is a quiz on on uh, Sunday. And again, you can use a late pass to delay that by a couple days if you need to. But the as writing assignment, the second writing assignment, is just a few points. All I want you to do is upload a picture of a cheat sheet that you would use for the quiz. I suggest that you have kind of a summary of the of the unit that you write some formulas or some approaches to doing certain types of problems and maybe you could have a few examples on that on an eight and a half by eleven sheet and you can use the front and back of that because quizzes are closed book and closed notes in general other than this one cheat sheet so you can't go back and use the exercises that you've done you you can't open up another uh, you know the exercises because you're doing just the quiz on WAMAP so um, Notice also on the calendar that I've added all these blue uh, highlights. These are just links to the Math Care for All Tutoring Center. So this tells you the time that I'm going to be there. I'm there uh, each day from 11.30 to 12.30, uh, Monday through Thursday. And then it tells you the hours. So Sunday's hours are 3 to 9, and then you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's 10 to 4, 6 to 9, and then Friday is 10 to 4. And of course, if you just click on that link, on that day, any day, you click on any day that the Mass Center is open, you can go directly to the Mass Center from this link. So if you click right here, think it will open a Zoom meeting. So you just go open Zoom meetings, or if you ha if you may need to, if you haven't been to Zoom, you need to to meet with me. But also make sure that you know you can use those, you know how to use Zoom, or that you can download Zoom. Okay, so now that's how you use the calendar. Now, the voting theory block, you can open that and get to all the assignments from the block as well. The, uh, the block contains all the objectives for the, and the assignment list and resources. It just lists them. So this first block shows here's the learning objectives for voting theory. We're, uh, we're going to apply a variety of voting methods to determine a winner of various types of election elections using what's called a preference schedule. So that's the first thing you're going to learn about is what a preference schedule is. And um, and then we're going to talk about fairness criteria. And so and then there's benefits. There's there's benefits and shortcomings to every kind of voting method. Uh, most of you are probably accustomed for the most part to what we call the plurality voting method. It's the simplest uh, method, but there are some flaws with the plurality method. Um, and it can actually, we can save a lot of money and maybe do a better job uh, using other methods. So that's what the whole point of this unit is about, is looking at voting methods, because voting methods are changing right now uh, all around the country. So anyway, you can, um, there's, here's a list of the assignments. There's the, theor the voting theory exercises, which are homework assignments, the written assignments, and the skills quiz. Okay, here's the resources, and there's a resource block that you can use, and we'll get to that in a minute. The next block is the voting theory assignments. This is what all of these assignments are on the calendar, and you can see their due dates here. 
and uh, actually the the questions form is not an assignment. That's just for us to refer to questions that you have about assignments. So you can exercise uh, access the voting theory exercises right here. I'm going to open that for us. And notice it has an add work button there. Uh, you can add work before or after, during or after any assignment. But again, on the exercises, it's not necessary to show your work. It is necessary when you do the quiz. So um, the rank choice voting assignment, I want you to just take a look at that. That is going to be quite a bit of reading. I want you to read. There's an article, a Forbes article. Uh, there's another article by Fair Vote Theory, and there's another NPR story. So there's three things I want you to look through uh, to get a little better sense of what RCV is. And then I have, I have videos that show the actual ballot and what happens in ranked choice voting again. You should have a pretty good idea of what that is. It's called instant runoff is the same type of system. Instant runoff and ranked choice voting are pretty much the same thing. And then you have to write two paragraphs. One paragraph will be about what your opinion of the whole idea of ranked choice voting is. And the second is how you think people in Yakima will respond because there is a movement to have ranked choice voting considered on a ballot. That means we, would, we might be voting on whether we adopt ranked choice voting for Yakima County uh, elections. Okay. So, and by the way, when you do a, when you submit something on a written assignment, it's probably a good idea to back it up. That is, copy it, um, whether you, if you upload it from another document, you'll have that other document, but also if you type it in here, you may want to upload that so that you have, you know, just kind of uh, a backup copy of that, because uh, sometimes uh, people don't upload things properly on WAMAP and it may not show up and then you've done work and I can't see it. Okay, so that's the, there's the written assignment, that's the quiz review sheet. That's only worth like three points, so it's not a big deal, but I, I need do want to see your quiz review sheet and all you have to do is take a picture of it, upload it, and you get credit for it. Um, then the voting theory skills quiz, and I'll click on that. If we start that, you'll see, oh, I can't do it as a student, I guess I have to do it as a teacher. Uh, oh, I wonder why it's not. Oh, I have to reset it. Okay, now I'll take a teacher preview. Uh, they have the rules for the quiz. You get 90 minutes. Now, notice it says add work. You do not need to add work during the quiz because once you put in all your answers, and you won't have this little key, this till see the an <laughs> those answers, you won't get the key, but you'll have to upload your work. You can upload it during the quiz if you want. But when you hit submit and end down here, it will take, uh, of course, I don't have any answers there. You'll have a chance, save work and continue. You'll have a chance to go back. Let's get out of that now. We'll go back to that. So after you've done that, if you select it again, you'll have this option to add work. And so you can just add your work after here. You can't, can't change any of the answers that you have, but you can add your work that should verify the answer. So your work, your answer and the work that you show should be consistent. Okay? So that's the quiz. That's pretty much it for the week. Just so you know, also, there's the resources here. This has the voting theory chapter. If you click there, it opens a new page, notice a new tab, and there's the chapter in the book with all the, this has examples. And also, um, it has a video uh, voting theory textbook examples. So when you open the book, you'll see examples. And if you open this, this opens the videos for those examples that are in the book. So if you start this, if you play all, it'll go through every example that you have. And, and this is all of them. We have creating a voting preference schedule, plurality voting, con Condorcet winner, um, instant runoff, which is RCV. And notice there's two of those for ranked choice voting and instant runoff are the same thing. Then all these different methods, the board account method, the Copeland method, all these 
types of voting methods. So there's a videos for each of those. No, notice this didn't, this opened in a new tab. So to get back, I'll just close that and go back here. So, and then there's more videos. Uh, so um, I've made some videos too. So there's lots and lots of video resources for you in that chapter. So if you have trouble, please ask me for help. Go to the Math Center for help and know that there's also videos for your help as well. And the textbook. Okay, I think that's everything for now. I hope uh, this proves to be a good week and you enjoy this very interesting and pertinent topic on voting theory. Okay, see you in the MC4A, hopefully. Bye-bye.